and my kids, I want my kids to explore, my children to be, find your soul, find what, what do you have a passion for? Mm. What is your passion? I, and I tell you, I, I've known early on, I've had, I, I love to swim. I love swimming. I love music and I love reading. Mm. Always have since I was a little boy. And those things have sustained me in feeding me. Mm. Wow. <laughs> those passions. So to find, I'm, I'm disturbed when I hear children say, I say, I'll ask, what is your passion? I don't know. Mm. I cannot fathom that. I, I don't understand that. Mm. That you don't know your passion. What do you have a passion for? Mm. You know, and, and, and whatever that, it will feed you. Mm -hmm. Your when I came will home off the road, I had, I had, I've been out on the road for 12 years. I left home with $33 and I came back with $75. Wow. I made a few dollars. Man. There you go. But over 12 years, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you still came back at a, with a net positive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, but, uh, but, you know, I, so I had to start from zero. And the first thing that contributed to my uh, getting in a better life situation was one of my passions, swimming. Hmm. Got a job out at YDC because nobody else could lifeguard out at that pool. Mm. Al worked out there too, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My Uncle Al. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, swimming. Um, and then music has afforded me to see the world. Hmm. Reading and knowing history um, aided me in teaching school and teaching history. Because mm. just that reading.